Okay, today I'm going to show you everything you need to get started on how to draw with silver point. So first of all, you need a piece of paper or a canvas. You need silver point drawing ground medium. You need a silver point stylus. You need a paintbrush. And you can pick the medium up off of Amazon various art supply stores. Same thing with the stylus. I picked this up from Amazon, uh, fairly inexpensive. So one thing I will tell you first that makes silver point drawing unique is that you can't just start drawing on a piece of paper. It won't show up. It'll just scratch. That is where the silver point drawing ground medium comes in. Um, follow the directions on it. You have to shake it up. Then you have to let it sit for five minutes after you shake it. So you start just by applying it to the paper and you just want to brush it around evenly just to get a nice even coat. And one thing that I forgot to mention, if you're going to use paper, you should shoot for the thickest drawing paper you could find, preferably mixed media that's suitable for paint. And you really need to tape it down with some masking tape, because if you don't, it will roll up on you from the edges. So I'm just gonna cover the whole sheet of paper with a nice even coat. And you can put multiple coats if you want to, but you really don't need to in my experience. One coat works just fine. Now go back through and do vertical strokes so it'll be applied nice and evenly. And then I'll go back through and do the same thing with horizontal strokes to kind of take some of the brush marks out. Okay, we've applied the drawing ground and I'm just gonna let that dry for about 10 or 15 minutes and then I'll be right back. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes and the ground has had plenty of time to dry. The paper's completely dry. So I'm gonna take my silver point stylus and start making a sketch. Once you have ground on the paper, it draws, feels pretty similar to like a hard graphite, but there's some definite differences. For one thing, the stylus always stays sharp. You never have to sharpen it. It's very pointy. Um, you don't press harder to make darker lines. You just have to make more lines and I'll talk here in a minute about shading techniques when doing silver point. So I'm just sketching this bottle. basic contour line. So a couple things about shading when working with silver point. You can you can hatch. Again, if you want it to be darker, you just have to overlap your lines. You don't want to press harder 
because like I said, it's really pointy and it will just tear through the paper if you push really hard. You wanna just let it glide across that treated paper. You can hatch, you can cross hatch. You can scumble. Scumbling works well with this medium as well. Some ways I find it a little bit easier than hatching and cross hatching. Just because again, you're just kind of letting the stylus glide across. One thing you can't do is stipple. Tapping this hard piece of silver on the paper will not leave a line. The lines are left, and the, the shade I should say is left strictly through the motion, dragging it across. One of the advantages in this technique over traditional drawing media is you're able to get really fine lines. Zoom in so you can see that. So if you want a thicker line again, you're going to not apply more pressure. You're just you're just going to apply more of the silver by making more strips. You're also capable of making really really fine lines as well. because the point is so sharp and it will stay sharp. You never have to sharpen it. So while it takes time to make one of these drawings, it really lets you add a lot, a level of detail to it, which is what makes this such a great medium to use for portrait drawing but honestly, it's good for any kind of drawing that you want to do. So in kind of the same way that applying more pressure won't make a darker line, applying less pressure won't make a lighter line either, really. You just make less lines to have a lighter area. So if I wanted a lighter looking area, I would just apply less of the silver, meaning less lines. So what are some pros and cons of silver point drawing? One of the cons is, like I said, you can't use stippling as a shading technique. It will, will not work with this medium. Another con is, Preparation time. You can't draw on any surface until it's been coated with a silver point ground medium. Another con would be it's more time consuming to actually make the drawing itself once you begin drawing because you have to spend so much time on the shading. So some of the pros are 
one, it's a permanent medium. You, know, you do not have to use any spray fixative or anything like that. Once it's on there, it's on there for good. Another pro, like I said, is that it lends itself well to extreme levels of detail, which works really well if you're into portraiture, drawing animals, things like that. You could really spend a lot of time really getting the details down on there. Another pro is that you don't have to use silver. You can use gold. It is very expensive, especially to get pure 24 karat gold. Um, but you can use gold, you can use different alloys. One thing I forgot to mention is you can make your own stylus. You can buy one of these pre-made with the silver already in it, or you could buy um, sterling silver wire or fine silver wire. And um, if you get 0.9 millimeter, you can put that into a mechanical big pencil and use a mechanical big pencil as your stylus. So if you're gonna make a lot of these drawings, that might be a good way to go about it. However, I think even this pre-built one is going to last for, I've heard it could last for hundreds of drawings. So not a bad investment. This is about $15. Um, the ground is also about $15 and it's a good size bottle. That's gonna last a long time. So there's not a lot of cost to entry to get into this medium. Like I said, it's more about just how much time you're willing to spend working with it. Um, what kind of drawings you're looking to make. It won't smudge. Another pro, when you're drawing over it, you need to draw with graphite or charcoal. You have to be wary about keeping your hand off of what you've drawn so far because you can smear it around and get it on your hand. And that's not gonna happen with silver coin. Whatever you apply to the paper is gonna stay there. One thing that I see is neither a pro or a con is that the medium itself um, goes through a process called oxidation, meaning your finished product is gonna change the way that it looks over time as it oxidizes there in uh, sterling silver, it's 92.5% silver and the rest is usually copper and copper oxidizes. So if you've ever seen sterling silver, uh, silverware or jewelry that hasn't been cleaned in a long time, and you see that tarnish, you'll know what I'm talking about. It'll take on an almost brownish kind of hue. Um, sometimes that's desirable because it develops what's called a patina, which is going to make every piece that you make really unique as it ages over time. And again, this is just a really, just a really simple demonstration on how to use the medium. And I hope you learned something today about silver point drawing. Uh, leave a comment below um, and let me know what you think. Have a great day.